Green Machine Recycling Equipment. <laughs> Municipalities and haulers are now finding it advantageous to collect dual stream rather than single stream material at the curb. Dual stream is a collection of mixed fibers on one side of the truck while keeping containers segregated on the opposite side of the truck. Single stream recycling plants now are looking at the need to process both dual stream and single stream simultaneously. Green Machine has found that it can now process the mixed fibers within the existing 24 ton per hour recycling plant without any loss to the production of the original single stream plant or any loss in cleanliness, throughput, or additions to headcount. This 24 ton per hour plant is now processing an additional 8 to 9 tons per hour of mixed fiber waste. While the containers are fed outside in an outward metering bin and processed through a newly installed container sorting system. Bulky waste is removed on the pre-sort, while the fiber screen removes any 2D flat fibers contamination. Glass breaker removes glass and fines, while both the fiber and the glass are deposited back in the single stream metering bin for downstream processing. The remaining container stream is then deposited upon a new 84 inch green eye hyperspectral sorting optical machine. This machine picks 98% of the material, 98% clean, while the balance of the cans, aluminum, bottles, and plastics flow through to the existing green eye container line from the original 24 ton per hour system. The three pre-existing optical sorters sort PET, natural, and colored plastics. The PET sorter can collect all of the PET material in the 24 ton per hour plant, as well as any mist bottles from the newly installed PET sorter. Natural HD and colored HD are automatically sorted at the higher tonnage rates without any issue. An additional 3 through 7 optical sorter has been added to the line to help remove the waste plastics cleanly and to be able to reach the minimal markets available for that material. The balance of the material rolls down the outward line where ferrous collection magnets grab the cans and the eddy current grab the aluminum. The pre-existing container bunkers have been expanded to handle the additional capacity and feeding the same balers, while the residue rates have dropped precipitously. Call for more details. Thank you.